Hi guys, Roxanne here from Tiny Home Living. It's a beautiful sunny day on the prairie today. Not too chilly. This thermometer on the window is really deceiving because it's the south side and the sun shines on it, so it says 20 degrees, and it certainly isn't 20 degrees uh, Celsius. Um, that's like summertime weather for Alberta. We need to get one that's sort of out of the way so we know what the actual temperature is. The one that was over by the other tiny house seems to have blown away in one of the storms. But uh, we're going to go out to the tiny house and try and get that uh, coat rack put together today. Um, Chris is out there now getting all the stuff together. Uh, somebody has been in and out about 400 times today. Keeps going out to the fire pit and getting garbage, burned garbage to eat. Um, but before we go out there, I just want to ask you to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video with your family and friends. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Hope you're enjoying the videos, and let's go see if we can get some work done today. So we're not going to install this today because you can see white right there and right there. And right there. Not too happy. Gonna have to fire somebody. Oh, it's hard to get good help these days. Well, it's the next day, guys, and we are going to um, try and get this coat rack done. Chris put another uh, coat of paint on the red corbels so that I would stop whining. And um, we're just double checking all the measurements here to make sure that. Um, I've got room for the four foot bookshelf and then the rack and then hang this up here. So um, that's what we're doing now. And hopefully get this done today. <laughs> Don't mock me on camera. Chris bashed his head again. He uh, tends to use his head as a battering ram and he has another hunk of bloody scab on his head. I'm working on the tractor. Something's bent. What is it that's bent on the tractor? Oh, the bracket for the steering. Oh, no. Anyway, I'm going to try and get this thing done here today. So what is it that, um... There's a stud wear right there. Oh, I see the nail, so... There and there. So here's the center. There's center there. So... Well, that's too far over this way, isn't it? Well, if we go this way, then it's good, the thing's going to be offset, if that matters. Uh, well, but where's, okay, but where's the center? Can the center go there? That should be okay, shouldn't it? Could it be over there? Yeah, I'd rather keep it this way a bit. Okay, so I'm going to... So the corbel can go... This is only going to, well, yeah, it'll catch that one. It's going to be there. Two plugs. Okay, okay. And then two here. Well, that'll look good for you, won't it? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm going, <laughs> going here. Oh. So two there, two there. Uh, well, I'm going to measure over here then again because that doesn't, that looks like it's way too far this way. You hold it up there again so that I can... Six feet is there. Oops. Well, it'll work, I guess, but I'm worried that the rack might end up banging into the corbel all the time. Mm. I guess not. If I, I've left an extra four inches, I think. Right? Just put it up there again so I can visualize it. <laughs> the corbel is like two inches. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And these will be. Then the plugs will be in this. They won't look so goofy. Yeah. And then you got to determine what the. Yeah. Yeah. Without them going by the plugs. Yeah. Okay. So now, how are we going to figure out where to put the corbels? Do you want me to mark it? No, we're going to put this on first. Oh, gotcha. I, I'm thinking of a horizontal shelf, right? I gotcha. 
My herbs ended up dying anyway. I've gone to so much trouble to try and save them. And they're dead in a dodo. Oh, i got to show you this. This is, the step is south facing, of course. So look at them all laying down. They're so happy in the sun. It's just a beautiful day. I'll have to find my thermometer that fell down here somewhere. And we have another crisis here. The firewood's all gone. So, might go back into our tree line and look for some of the deadfall. She's just laying right down on her side. I think that might be Betty. She's the only one with the black mark on her beak, I think. Rusty's happy laying around in the sunshine with his girls. That's about two, four, six, can't count them, they keep moving. Two, six, eight, nine of them out of eleven that are here on the step with them. It is so beautiful and warm in the sun here. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're Betty. She has short points on her comb. And I think I remember saying that, that Betty's comb has short points on it. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there was a message on my phone last night, uh, the laminate's in. And look what else got at the store. Mm -hmm. Gotta toast some marshmallows. Okay, let's see how this thing cuts. sweep it onto the floor. <laughs> Perfect, he's mocking me, so I don't question it. <laughs> no. Just that nice. Oops, my camera's not tight. Uh, 
right there. Just well, the depth of the button? Yeah, that's oh, I see. about okay. an eighth. Hey. You'd have to touch it up, eh? No, the button's got a little hangover. Oh, okay. But I think i got to go a little more. covered anyway. Mm -hmm. So Chris also drilled, um, where is it, pilot holes through here to come out the other side. Now do you need me to hold that up? Let me hold it for a second. Basically, he's got um, the reason we put these where they are is because they're hitting studs. Um, and now Chris is going to screw down in there into the wall as well.
Okay, so now um, you gotta screw where the gray holes are. The holes are in the gray wood? Yeah. Or did you already do there? We're done. Oh, okay, I see. <coughs> We don't have the glue for these yet, but um, so now we got to cut the shelf. Yeah. Now I'm just going to double check this measurement again. Forty-four. Okay. It's centered on that. Yeah. And then when I do the paint on the ends of the trim, I'll touch up the end, the cut end of the forty. Yeah. Having these little buttons to finish things off makes it look really nice. then it's going to be hard to get them out to glue. <laughs> uh, I'm always getting in trouble for something. At least I'm smart enough to bang it with a rubber hammer so I don't wreck the paint. <laughs> right? <laughs> get credit for something. Now, see how nice that looks? This one isn't in all the way, but look how nice those look. Now most of you remember me babbling about this cutoff from the fridge gable. I think it's nine inches deep. It's just a little bit deeper than that, so it'll hang over a little bit. And so Chris is cutting 44 inches off of it to put up here. And then I'll figure out where I need to put the hooks. I've got two white crates too that were in the original tiny house under the TV. Um, so I think I might put them... No, actually they're the ones that were in the bedroom. The ones under the TV I have in my bedroom now. That's not funny. <laughs> that looks so nice. I was thinking for the hooks. Um, probably center one in between those buttons, or should I just divide up the whole length? Well, it's 36. So that would be what, eight? Eight, 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 eight. eight. Okay, so eight inches there, and then that doesn't seem right to me. No. Can't do math anymore. Mm -hmm. So there's the measurement. Look at 
it's a tip. Oh yeah. Right there. Seven and a half is the top of this. Thing. So, so is this? No, that's, that's the edge. Okay, so the edge is right there. Let me check it. Six and a quarter. Yep. And seven and a half. So down. That's the center, right? Right. So I'll just eyeball it again mm -hmm. for the center. Danced around a bit. That's okay. It just danced a bit when the screw went in. I didn't give it the stink eye first, did you? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of room for when you put your hand up to get 
keep my coat on my hair. My hair's still wet. And then I guess we gotta screw that thing down from the top, eh? Yeah. Okay. Isn't that pretty? So now I can put my baskets up there with my gloves and stuff. And I think I might bring those two crates in to see about putting them on the wall here. These are the crates that I was talking about and we decided not to put them. I was thinking if I had another piece of the shelf here, I could put my keys and stuff there when I come in so they would be on the wall. But then I think they're going to be in the way of the coats hanging. So we might end up using them to make a bench down here. Um, with shoes underneath. I, I'm thinking not now. Um, I might end up using them for something in the bathroom instead um, to put towels in or something like that. We'll see. I'll use them for something but I brought them in so I can clean them up and I'll um, put another coat of the high gloss paint on them when I do the other stuff because these didn't get high gloss up in them or on them and I did add a coat of high gloss in the bedroom when I did uh, my window cell and everything so I'll do that too. Chris is just drilling some pilot holes in this shelf so that the screws are buried down in fine instead of sticking up. Screws? No, I got four here. Oh, okay. Does it need one? this rough edge when I do that piece of trim up there and this one here I'll put some primer on and then put some high gloss on when uh, I do the rest of the stuff the windowsill and everything so another thing I like about this is the fact that I've got the red here and the red there so it catches your eye and ties everything together the black hooks tie together with the black handles. And same thing from the other direction. If you're down at this end, everything ties together too. So you got the black hooks, the black handle on the doorknob, the black in the window, and of course the big black beautiful beast on this side. So this for me is what it's all about. This is the fun part. This is what I love so much. It's just, like I said, this is, was in my head. The corbels were ugly brown things left over from a customer's job years ago. This would have been garbage. The piece of wood Bob had. So it didn't cost anything. So we bought the hooks basically. 
and put it together and I just couldn't be happier with it. So, um, like I said, that's the kind of stuff that for me is just fun. Um, and I'll figure out something cute to do with those last two crates. Again, it's one more thing out of Chris's tool trailer. <laughs> All the stuff that he's actually got a lot of space in there now. But um, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. That's huge for me. I'm so happy to have that done. And now when we walk in the door, we can just hang our coats up instead of looking for some place to put them. And um, I'll end up getting maybe a bench or maybe just put a shoe rack there on the floor. But there's lots of time to figure that out and then now like I said um, we've got I got the phone call the countertops the laminate is in so that'll be the next big thing and boy it's really gonna look finished in here when the countertops are done and then like I said the stain uh, the gray stain on this wood is the gray stain that we're using for the wood on the edge of the countertop so that ties things together nicely as well but that's it for today, guys. Couldn't be happier. This is exciting for me. And I uh, hope you're enjoying the videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends. And we'll see you next time.